The ancient city of Pompeii, located south of Rome on the western coast of Italy, will forever be remembered following the events of August 24, 79 AD. On that day, Mount Vesuvius erupted catastrophically, burying the city for over a millennium. When Pompeii was rediscovered in the 1700s, historians gained a first intimate glimpse into ancient life at the site, and excavations have been ongoing ever since. Starting in 2005, UC Classics professor Stephen Ellis has led an international team of archaeological researchers in an exploration of Pompeii and its remains. While past excavations have largely focused on the lavish private houses of the site's wealthiest citizens, UC's Pompeii Archaeological Research Project is investigating the site's entertainment district, known for its public theaters, bars, and restaurants. Focusing on a group of buildings within a single insula, a city block of apartments and businesses, the UC team has uncovered a wealth of evidence for the everyday lives of Pompeii's lower and middle class residents. This project requires careful digging and record keeping. The precise fine spot of each artifact must be documented, and walls must be measured and drawn, both by hand and using highly accurate surveying equipment. In recent years, The project has used iPads for its field recording. The iPads allow the team to access and update records for the entire excavated area simultaneously, and they facilitate the creation of quick, accurate digital drawings. Recording profiles of soil stratigraphy and the details of standing architecture allows the excavators to understand how and when different parts of the site were built. The UC excavations have documented many aspects of Pompeii. From drains for water management to pits for storage and waste disposal, large quantities of pottery for everyday use and special occasions, elegant glass vessels for perfume, worked bone objects, and coins and a variety of other finds have been carefully removed from the earth, cleaned and sorted, conserved and documented, and cataloged before being studied by experts and eventually stored at the site. In addition to man-made objects. Plant and animal remains have also been painstakingly removed from the excavated dirt and studied in the lab. What emerges from this research is a picture of a bustling neighborhood full of kitchens, bars, and restaurants serving both Pompeii's local clientele and its visitors. Also of interest is the local cottage industry, indicated by plaster-lined tanks in which fish were salted and fermented to make garum, a flavor enhancer used in a wide variety of Roman recipes. After each field season, attentions turn to education and outreach. Recently, faculty and graduate students of the UC Department of Classics have recorded a series of podcasts about the site of Pompeii and its legacy. Topics include the eruption of Mount Vesuvius, commerce and politics, gladiators, Greek and Roman medicine, food and dining, and burial and death. These podcasts can be downloaded from our website at classics.uc.edu/outreach.